You know when you've just had a disagreement with someone, then you walk away, and then later you think of about 10 different things you should have said? Well, that happened to me regarding my man bun. Why on earth, last episode, didn't I realize that I should have called these things Greg? It, 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 it's Greg on my head. Agree an egg, the egg puns. The lowest form of pun, of course, is the egg pun. But we've done it. We've got Greg's. So, I have done quite a lot of egg hiding between our episodes. I didn't want to show them all on camera. However, I, I did realize that I can hide these on camera now because by the time this video is finished, we're going to be doing the egg hunt anyway. So, well, it's too late now, but I have saved one for last. I've got one more egg to hide and it belongs to B-Dubs' base, which is the giant diorite lightsaber handle that is here. And what's really fun about hiding these eggs is that as you're exploring, you end up finding everyone else's eggs as you go through. I bet we'll find one if we uh, if we look hard enough. Yep. I see his scal. I think that's his scal. I found some really, really devious places while hiding the eggs. And one of the most devious that I found, and I've not done this on every single one because that would be kind of harsh. I've only done this for a couple of eggs. But I, I asked Jevin, our adjudicator, and this is totally acceptable. There we go. The egg is visible. It's just in there. And if you look, because it's named, it also comes up as Greg. So the chances are when the when B Dubs comes to look, I don't know that he's gonna see it. I mean, we can always find a slightly less trafficy area, but that little trick there is definitely gonna win me some points, I I think. Let's find ourselves a decent place to hide our last egg in B Dubs' house. Is that an egg? I think there's an egg under here. There is. Whose egg is that? I was trying to put one here and someone's already beat me to it. Aha, okay, here we go. This is a good spot. This is much less likely to be inspected closely. There we go. Greg the egg is in here. Now, let's take our man bun back to our base. So that is all of my eggs hidden now. And we can't start looking for them until tomorrow. And if people have actually hidden some eggs in my base. I haven't come across any except that one, which I, I'm not looking. I'm just, it's, it's, it's in the window. And that one, which I noticed not because I was looking, but because there was never even an armor stand there before. Who knew that Pleasant Moon was actually a pair of knees? I think today's the day Scar and I make this all overgrown for our good moustached friend. Now, last episode, we were making, or we did make, a giant... Whoa, I forgot about that. Yeah, Scar's just left this. Uh, I, I, just distraction for a second. I have been distracted by the giant pile of diamonds. This is, um... I don't know what the word is. Showing off? Flexing? Okay, Scar. Let's do this. Wait, I don't, I don't think this is... This isn't gonna make this isn't gonna make a dent, is it? Twenty-eight. Can we can we can we do a bigger bigger block than that? There's no way. I mean that ooh. I think I've just realized how many diamonds Scar has waiting to be chopped. Oh my goodness. If you ever wanted to feel emasculated, that is it. Um Hmm. My diamond pile is not as big as Scar's. I think we might have to change that. Anyway, before I got distracted, I'm gonna get some more diamonds later, don't you worry. Before we got distracted, we were heading over to the rift. And today is the day that we're going to make some significant progress to our base. The real base, the big base, just over here. Into the underworld we go. And here is the rift. So... This is the source of all the weird things that's going on in my base, and it's a really important feature. It isn't complete, I need to do a lot more decorating, but, you know, everything here is a work in progress. I want to make, like, try and make a lab down here of some kind, and this is just the beginning. It's a little bit 2D at the moment, but don't you worry, all these things take time, and if you're me, they take a lot of time. Hello, Greg. Right, so, let's go up here because now that we've got the rift that's causing all the weird stuff it's time to make a rock a really big rock however first of all we've got all that prep to do that i 
started but didn't finish last episode. So, without further ado, let's chop down a whole bunch of trees and plant them somewhere else so that we don't cause global warming. And let's go! Okay, we are looking pretty clear now. There's still plenty of trees. I don't want to get rid of all of them because it would be nice to have my big old rock surrounded with a bunch of forest. But the general plan is that there'll be a bridge that extends off of this cliff face this way. And then there'll be a giant rock sticking out of the ground here supported by another giant rock. And it's all connected up. At least that's the idea. And underneath, you can see where the beacon is. Directly underneath is where the rift is. So it should all line up pretty well. And I actually want to get some good progress made on the rock today. However, it is now time for the egg hunt. We only have a couple of days to find them all. And I've left it right until the last second. So we already know where a couple of these are. And it's time to start looking. Now we know that Pearl's egg is right <laughs> Ta -da! there. Now we need to try and find everyone else's. Those are the only two that were kind of obvious to me. And another. Aha. I see an egg just up here. I'm guessing that someone has done some placements in here. There we go. Cubs egg. Now, we need a total of 18 to make sure that we've got everyone. So, so far, we've only got five. Aha! One more. Another. Number eight. Aha! Number nine. Number ten, underneath the water. To be fair, my base isn't very big, so hiding in my base is really, really difficult. I'm guessing maybe people... I don't know what the rules are, really. If you can go as far as calling this my base, I'd be kind of surprised if someone did. Oh, I, m I missed the more obvious one. That's number 11. Number 12. That's gone up here. How are we doing? So, we've got six more to find. I, I do wonder if anyone would... I mean, this is really not part of my house, so I'd be surprised if anyone was gonna put an egg here but it's worth checking just in case there's redstone here this redstone's like in my house I I definitely didn't do this I think I may have found an egg perhaps are we allowed were we allowed to do redstone to get to the eggs did they hook up a button or something look I can see you can see a redstone bit there as well <laughs> wait a minute Wait, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. This is Cub's base underneath Scar's house. This has nothing to do with the egg hunt. He's just made an exit in my house. I'm like, I'm like pushing all the buttons expecting there to be some sort of egg. But Cub's just made a secret exit. Now that, that is what overthinking looks like. Okay, I'm a few eggs short of an omelette. And I need a few more. Is there a chance that people have hid some at the entity? It is really close to my base. Maybe we should give the entity a once over. Aha. Uh -huh. That looks like... There we go. Okay, we found a ZF egg. It looks... Okay, it looks like a couple of eggs are in here. I'm not the only one that thought of the behind the chest trick, so... It looks like that might be where the majority of them are. Okay, so one, two, th I got four more to find now. And it's getting pretty easy. All right, three more to go. So I'm guessing if they put some on the inside of the entity, there might be some on the outside. Only two more to find. He hasn't got mine yet. Where uh, is it? Where is oh, it? Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> where is it, Scar? <laughs> Oh, it's a mystery to be had. A mystery. He's not He's not just flown to it. It's not in here, is it? I've just looked in here. I know it's not in here. Okay, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. Okay, riddle. Riddle me this. What am I? 
An elf? Is that? Wait, 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 wait. Is that it? One one more part. One more part. That's the key. That's the clue. No, another part. They're an elf of what variety? Spanish. A tree elf. Okay. Hey, there he is. You got to give it to me. It blended perfectly in with that log. I it didn't even get to this part of the tree. I looked everywhere except <laughs> the most obvious place that you'd put put it. Well done. All right, I've <laughs> nice. got one more to find. I've done a full tour of my base again, and I just noticed there's a tiny hole up here, and no one used it. This would have been a great hiding place. I officially can't find this last egg. I don't know where it is. Okay, so I've been looking for about 20, 25 minutes and I found 17. And I've been looking for another 20 minutes again for the last egg. And I've walked past it so many times. It's right here. It blends in so perfectly. <laughs> oh, and it's called gr Grain. Of course it is, and uh, da 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 we've got all 18 hermits collected. That was a very good but simple hiding place, and the pun was chef's kiss. So we've done extremely well, in fact we've done the best we possibly could, and I found them all in just under 45 minutes, which is pretty good going I would say. And we are the second person to submit all of our eggs. Okay, so we've done well here. Joe's the only other one that beat us to it, and it looks like he got all of his eggs as well. Why did the coffee go to the police? It got mugged. <sighs> all right, we're gonna add a little bit from the diamond pile here. Uh, it's only 16, so we're not gonna get very far. <laughs> look at, look at that. Look at that. Well, at least it hasn't moved. He's got a bit of snow on the top. Hucka! Oh! oh my! Oh! 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 Scar! Oh, hi there, Grid. Scar, I punched myself in the face. How did you manage that? I had my I had my hand on my cheek, and he made me really jump. <laughs> uh, 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 with this uh, with this pillar here uh you know you know what i'm doing to do my heart oh, <laughs> you know exactly what i'm trying to do i'm trying to reach build height before you do with this size yeah okay pillar? look listen here it's uh look listen don't laugh at a man's diamond pile okay well you know i gotta commend you it's a decent size it's decent size it's you know what it's adequate uh, that's it, I'm going mining. I'll see you later. I'm going <laughs> mining. I'm gonna come back with so many diamonds. Alright, well, I'll see you in a couple of hours, Scar. I got all night. <laughs> see you later. Oh, hey, Graham, by the way. What? By the way, I forgot to show you this. Did you see this other box? Hawkeye! Scar! When did you get good with a bow? Right, we're hitting the mines. <laughs> Diamonds galore. It took several hours and I've got to say I do not like mining in deep slate But we have got ourselves really quite a lot of diamonds here now. The big question is How far is this going to go and will we end up having a tower taller than scars? So here we go. This won't take us all the way to build height however, it may it may just bring us in line with where Scar is. I have a feeling that we are not going to make it. And no, no, it's close, but not close enough. So this is at 148 and this is 139. So there's very, very little difference now, but I've definitely had an, oh, look at that. Look at that, that is more like it. We've got an awful long way to go before we can make it all the way to build height though. That's definitely enough mining for today though. Let's head back to our mega base area because it's actually time to start making some real things. 
so we prepped this area earlier, and now it's time to start building something. I don't know how far my resources are going to go. It may create the whole rock, it may create half a rock. Who knows, but we will find out once we begin our time lapse. Right now. Wait, that felt really wrong. That that didn't feel I didn't feel right. Let's go! Say hello to Dwayne. It is a giant, giant rock. And this was put together actually in the first week of this season on my private server. I've, I've actually got way more than this planned. Here we have the giant rock. This is where the main part of it's going to be. And you might notice that there's quite an obvious rectangle here. That's where a structure is going to go on the front. I've just covered it up for the time being so that I can uh, I can get a good view of what this rock looks like. But essentially, yeah, the structure is going to sit there. Then the bridge goes across to link up with this. And then further down the line, there's even more islands and floating stuff. Uh, trust me, this is going to be a really cool base, but <laughs> this, this rock took way more resources than I had. I had to stop multiple times to refuel. Now on the inside, it is very, very dangerous. I tried to light it up and all I found was just a huge horde of mobs. No, no, no! Please. But as you can see, there is plenty of space in this rock for everything that I'm going to need. Hopefully there's enough space for some farms. Uh, uh, no. no, 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 I can't afford to die in here. I can't afford to die in here. No. So the only other thing to point out is that some of the rock, especially down the bottom here, is currently floating. And the reason for that is because I'm not entirely sure what terrain and what texturing I'm going to do with the floor. I, I, I almost want to do something really cyan based. The cyan warped root that you get in the nether, I feel like that could work, but I haven't done any testing. So all we've got at the moment is a bit of a mess down here. However, as far as progress goes, the rock is born today. That is a huge amount of building done. There's obviously so much more to go. But this is a phenomenal start. Not the most enjoyable thing in the world to build, but done nonetheless. So be honest with me, is this bigger? <laughs> is this a bigger rock than you expected? Or is this the sort of size that you were expecting? And I feel like the balance is just right. And it's not actually that far away from what I believe is Doc's perimeter. And oh... Oh, mama. <laughs> have you, have you, have you ever seen anything so terrifying? Oh, it's a world eater. Well, at least they're not going towards my rock. Uh, excuse me, Pleasant Moon. A new combatant has just entered the diamond pile arena. There's now three diamond stacks competing. She tried to hide this. Nuh-uh. Oh, look how close that is. It's so close! The other thing that I did earlier today was that I uh, I started to make Mumbo's vault completely overgrown to show the passage of time, show that he's been gone for a while. Greg, okay, so I had... So this is my Easter basket, and there should have been 18 Gregs. That means I got a f point, five points? Oh, look, here it is. Hermitcraft Easter egg hunt results. Green 5, X5, Hypno 5. Oh my goodness. That means we're tied for first along with Zuma and Hypno. That's pretty cool. I'll be honest, I was just quite happy to play the game and uh, see these little guys. I didn't actually expect to win. 
I wonder, I wonder who didn't find an egg. I'll tell you what, I know who definitely didn't find an egg because it's the most devious hiding place ever. It's ridiculous. Some, so I, I did quite a mixture of egg hiding. I did some difficult and some fairly easy. And this one was the most difficult. And here it is. So this is Jevin's base. If he finds, if he has found this, I would be really surprised. So basically what you do is you go under here and you, you still can, can they, they see that? You have to get pixel perfect, and you can actually, if you get really pixel perfect with it, see that? Boom. There's like one pixel where I was able to place it without breaking a block. Ah, that's insane. That's such a good hiding place. I'm I'm not surprised you didn't find this, but that was that was it. I had to get literally pixel perfect in order to do that one. Oh man. Um. I other than that, I'm uh I might have a little check round to see who missed out my eggs. I'll be honest, I'm not sure I can remember where I hid them all. We can check the one in Impulse's base. That was just up here. There it is. I'm surprised he didn't find that one. I didn't find. I don't think this one was particularly difficult. I'm not sure who else didn't find my egg. But uh, I, at least Impulse and Jevin didn't. And for the other eggs, I, I, I'll i be honest, they might be lost forever. I'm <laughs> not sure I can remember exactly where they all are. But with that, I think that is enough for today's episode. We had quite a good run today. We did some egg hunting. We did some egg finding. We have made a giant pillar of diamonds. We are going to take a little bit more time to get to the build height. Uh, we've overgrown Mumbo's vault, ready for his return, and of course, we built a rock. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I shall see you in the next episode. Goodbye.